Hi everyone, welcome into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel Kelly, and with me is my co-host every month, twice a month, with West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Paul Friedlander. Hello, and we're, as usual, not only having great guests, but having a lot of fun. I know, we always have fun here, we do. Now, this is, I believe, my first interview with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Deanna Sheffield Ward, welcome. Hey, thank you for inviting us out. We're I excited. know. Oh, I can't wait. I'm just going to turn this segment over to you. I want to hear oh, everything okay. that you do because Big Brothers Big Sisters has been around a long, That's long right. time doing amazing things in the community. Well, well, thank you for allowing us to share the message and all the things that you all have done to allow right. us to, to serve more kids, and that's what we're all about. You know, we've been around for more than uh, 50 years in the Tampa Bay community. We're part of a national network that's more than a century old, but what at the heart of what we do is we take great kids, we call them little brothers and little sisters, and we pair them with great adults who are mentors. We mm -hmm. call them big brothers, big sisters, or big couples, because couples can actually mentor each other together. Oh, that is so that. awesome. That is, I want to do that. Well, I, I have an application right over there. I, I want to be a big sister. <laughs> well, I think this is awesome. Well, and you know, what's wonderful. A lot of people say, well, what does it take to be a volunteer? If yeah. you have a passion and you want to help a child, we want you. And we have a process of how that works. But let me tell you about the children that we serve. Yes. You know, a lot of people say, well, where, where do they come from? Well, maybe a parent will call and say, you know what? I'm raising my child by myself. Maybe it's a grandparent or another relative sure. who's taking care of the child. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a parent who's incarcerated, and we mm -hmm. see that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a parent who's in the military and deployed. Or we also have a program for children who are in foster care. But what these children have in common is they just need that person. Not a person to replace that parent, but a person who can be there and say, I believe in you. I encourage mm -hmm. you. I think you can do it. And so these mentors spend, on average, eight hours a month or one hour a week spending time one-on-one -on -one with that child. Yes. And what we find is those kids do better in school, they um, have better attitudes, they have better self-esteem, and they're more likely to graduate to the next grade level because yes. they have that person who's there, who's dedicated to say, I am there for you. And the, and the commitment. Absolutely. Yes. The commitment from someone. That's what they're looking do. for. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And you know, you asked about being a volunteer. We have volunteers from all walks of life. Uh, we have college students all the way up to those who have already raised their family and business people. I mean, whatever. If you have a passion, you want to mm -hmm. learn about being becoming a big, we encourage you to come on board. Uh, you can go to our website. We actually have uh, dates of where you can come to a orientation orientation or training and you get a real feel for what it's all about that is just so exciting it, it really is now how long have you been involved with it well it's funny i was just we were just talking about this uh my 10th anniversary is actually this month actually really? just passed really? 10 years and the way i ended up coming on board with big big brothers big sisters was by come, uh, being a volunteer I was matched with my little sister, Charmel. Uh, she was seven years old. Uh, it was funny, when, they, when we match, we really find out about the big and the little so we can see if it's going to be a good match, you know, what your likes and dislikes are. So Charmel was, was a drama queen. I'm a drama queen. She loved cheerleading. <laughs> no, really? I love cheerleading. So they really did a great job of matching us. And so we would spend time one-on-one -on -one together. And I remember the very first time we went out together, I took her to the library. Okay. Because that, that was one of the favorite places for me growing up as a child. And I said, Charmel, you pick out a book, and I'll pick out a book, and we'll read together. And she picked out a book that had pictures. Because at seven years old, she couldn't read. Oh, dear. And what I realized was it wasn't that she couldn't do it. She just needed a little extra. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we would do is we'd drive down the street. I'd say, Charmel, what's that street sign say? Or, or we'd go to the grocery store. Uh, tell me what aisle we need to go to get the, the dairy and things like that. And all of a sudden, she, blossomed. she really yeah. realized she could do it. Yeah, yeah. So now Charmel, she's the reason why, again, I work for Big Brothers Big Sisters because of that experience and the, and the uh, great opportunity opportunity that we had to learn from one another. Um, now she's 22 years old. She's graduating from college and she wants to be a teacher and teach developmentally delayed children. So, you nice. know, we talk about how the child is impacted. Wow. And, and yeah. We hear from bigs all the time that they're impacted just as much. Oh, that, sure. that, you know, uh, that just gives me chill bumps to hear those success stories. 
So you, so how long did you mentor with her? Right, I, and so in our program, we ask you for at least a year and a half commitment because again, we want you to really be dedicated. And what we find is a lot of big stay a lot longer because think about it, you yeah. have a friend, you don't just say, okay, our time's up. Right. We're, we're not going to be friends anymore. Right. You, that bond continues. Yes. And so we ask people again for that length of time and they end up staying through 18 or when they graduate from high school, whichever happens last. But what's wonderful is uh, a lot of times um, people will, will see our Big Brothers Big Sisters sign or, or something like that and they'll say, you know what, I was a former little. I had a big brother or I had a big sister back, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago and I'm still in yeah. contact with my big. So that relationship really does continue after we're kind of no longer part of the process. That, that is exciting. Now, do you find that the uh, little brothers and sisters come back and give back yeah. and become... Yeah. They keep stepping forward and stepping it's, It really is like paying it forward. Yeah, and so yeah. we find, again, from those littles who had such a great experience, they're like, you know what, when I get settled or whatever is going on right. in their lives, I want to give back and become a volunteer. Or they're great advocates for us. You know, they come and speak at our different events and they um, help us recruit great volunteers and share their story. So they really, really stay connected with us. <sighs> Oh. I'm getting you an application. I'm just there you go. You know. That that is Sign just her up. so exactly. exciting. Exactly. Exactly. So you up. still stay in touch with um, what was Charmel? Yes, we're still in contact well, to you this know, day. You're right. That, that it's not like you ju you have to yeah. just cut them off after that. So you stay. Right. Now, how long have you been with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce? It, you know, we were looking through our records. It seems like we've been a part of the family uh, for yeah, many, been, many years. I, 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 years I, I did a look. Yes, 97. So 97. it's been it's 97. Been almost, yeah, it's been almost that's 20 been years. A little while. And so we just so how's that? It. How's that engagement work for you? Well, we love it. And I have to brag <laughs> on Deb Crystal Irwin, who is, yes. is one of our wonderful team members uh, here in, in the Pasco community. And uh, as you, we call her kind of the mayor sometimes because yes. she's out and about. She and is. she has so many great uh, partners. Yep. who really help us with our mission, whether it's helping us recruit volunteers, you know, volunteering themselves, or helping us raise money so that we can reach more children in our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've wow. got this is a wonderful program, and Deb, Deb wasn't un, was unable to come today, but Deb is a, a great, great community Absolutely. for you guys. Great, great community leader and great, Absolutely. great community networker. Um, let me ask you, Deanna, they also... There's two things I wanted to ask you. One is, it's not necessarily, I think sometimes people go, oh, big brothers, big sisters, it's, it's a child that's coming from a bad environment. They're not, if I remember correctly, we had one of our Rotarians that was having challenges with her kids and she, and I don't know if she was, I'm not even sure she was a single mom, but mm -hmm. they ended up getting a big. Absolutely. Because sometimes, you know, the parents are, you know, so it's not that they come from necessarily from a, a depressed background or right. anything like that. Right. It might just be kids that need an outside influence. Am I correct? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you know, you yeah. think about it, we all had someone in our lives yes. who was there to encourage us, whether it's from our, our place of worship or the neighbor or mm -hmm. uh, someone at school. So all of these kids are the same and that they just need that person yep. who's there dedicated to really be there for them. And you know, as well as I do, you don't always listen to the person that's standing of in course. front of you or sitting in right. front of you, especially right. if they're a parent. Right. You know, Absolutely. Right. But, um, the other thing too, you've got, and we got to get it in before we run out of time, but you've got that new program that Deb yes. was talking to me about. This is really, really cool because I, I think it opens the door, not only to finding more bigs in sort of an indirect mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm but finding more bigs for the kids. Absolutely, so we kind of talked about our site-based program. That's where volunteers go Listen one hour a week at a school. We have the community-based program where you go pick up your little at right. their home and do free low-cost activities throughout the month. But the school-to-work program is really exciting. What we find is for those juniors and seniors in high school, they really need that extra person in their lives. So we launched this program, it's just now getting off the ground, where we bus um, high school juniors to a business and they have a chance to see a work environment with their big brother or big sister at that particular location. Love this. So it's one day a month and they spend about a half a day there, maybe for the first hour or so as a group. Maybe they talk about what you should and shouldn't put on social media or how to put together a resume or some other 
career building opportunities. We have 30 seconds. <laughs> and so then they have a chance to really spend that time with their with their big um, in the workplace. And again, that's their school to work program. We have so many things in it. Can I, can I plug our website real quick? Uh, absolutely. We just B popped it yes. up there too. BBBS. T uh, Tampa Bay org is our website. It has information on how to become a volunteer, some of our events that are coming up, including our Bull for Kids Sake fundraiser on April 29th. Everything you ever want to know, our phone number, go to the website. We'll get you hooked up. Oh, that is so exciting. I can't thank you enough, thank Deanna. You. And uh, maybe you'll want to do a uh, field trip and come here to the studio. I love it. See how TV is done. I love we'll it. We'll play TV with the kids. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much and good luck. Thank Congratulations you. on your 10 year anniversary. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you again. Stick around. We have more to come on My Chamber TV.